Hey guys, it's Kiki Garcia. I hope you're having a great day. It is time to cook another Blue Apron and give you 40% off your first month. So let's see, what are we cooking tonight? Tonight it is ginger pork meatballs with cabbage and jasmine rice. Doesn't that look delicious? I know. So let me tell you what I've done so far. I've cut up my radishes. You can see there. Um, I put some pure sesame seed oil on it and also some rice vinegar and those are marinating. I've also chopped up my cabbage so that's good to go. I have my pork in the bowl right now and I already made the jasmine rice so that is all set as well. So right now we're going to work on the meatballs um, and I'm going to put a glove on because I'm going to have to um, uh, mix this up with my hands and when you have faking nails on it gets kind of gross so I'm going to put a glove on for this one okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pork I'm going to add this chopped up um, ginger that I made a little earlier I'm going to put that in there but I'm also going to put pure sesame seed oil now half of it I used for the radishes the other half I was supposed to save for this so that's going to go right into the pork and then you put the uh, panko crumbs in there. So let's get those open and put those in. So it says to mix all of this up. Um, and then we're going to make 10 to 12 meatballs. Let's see, let's get that all mixed up in there. It's kind of nice to use uh, sesame seed oil instead of um, what I would normally use, I guess, would be some eggs. Uh, so that's kind of a different little twist on it. And I kind of kept the ginger kind of big. Um, I made it more chunky. So let's see, that looks pretty good. So now I have an extra plate to put my meatballs on. And let's see if we're going to get 10 to 12 out of this. I think we want to make them about... Probably about yay big. Okay, so I'm going to make those real quick. And in the meantime, I should probably warm up my oil pan as well. So I'm just going to give my hand a little rinsey rinse. And I'm going to turn on this oven. I already have the olive oil in the pan. I'm going to put it on medium. Cause that's all I need on my stove. Medium cooks it, uh, cooks it really good. Gets it really hot and nice. So let's see. Let's see. That's three, four, five. I feel like the uh, the owl. Let's see, six, seven. I think I'm making these a little bit too big, but that's all right. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to kind of cut some off of that one, make it a little bit smaller. So let's see, it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm just going to make sure I get all that ginger too. I love ginger. Ginger's so good. At work, we make this ginger tea and we, we have that in the morning and it's so good. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm just going to give my hands a little rinsey rinse again with soap, soap, pork. You don't want to touch anything when you got pork all over you, right? These recipes are so easy. This one takes 30 minutes to cook from beginning to end. Like I said, I made a few things ahead of time just, you know, because you don't want to see me chopping cabbage, I'm sure. And don't forget, use the code to save 40% off your first month of Blue Apron. You can't beat that. Okay, so... Um, Let's see, in a large pan, he one tablespoon of olive oil. That's what we're doing. We're going to cook these for seven to nine minutes. I am going to put a cover on it because I, I don't want to make a mess. And I'm going to place them in with my hand, and then I'll use a, a spatula to turn them around. Wow, you can hear the sizzle. It's already hot. Very nice. Get rid of that plate. Now I'm going to get a little 
spatula. I'm going to make sure my rice is still fluffy. Just fluff it up a little bit. Yeah, it's still pretty good. You know, I love Blue Apron, but I've noticed um, a lot of times with the rice, the rice, I don't know, I never feel like the rice comes out perfect. It's always maybe a little bit too tough, which I don't mind. I actually like my rice a little bit crunchy, but um, I don't know, I, it, it either burns or it's a little bit crunchy. So I like to keep it on the crunchy side because um, I really don't mind it being crunchy at all. So let's see, we're gonna cook those. And then what we're gonna do um, is we are going to add the cabbage to the pan. So everything's gonna cook in the same pan. You know, it's really not that hard to, to cook Blue Apron. Um, I know some people say you have to use a lot of uh, different kitchen equipment. <laughs> I'm talking to my sister right now. <laughs> she always laughs because um, she had gotten a recipe where uh, I think she had a zest lemon and she had to cut the corn off of a, a corn, a, a husk, and uh, she didn't have a lemon zester. But I mean, in her defense, she works, she lives in a, a, an apartment in New York City, so she doesn't have like a bunch of stuff, but um, it's still very doable. It's, it's fun. Like I said, my family loves it. Um, it's something that sometimes we even cook all together. We all have our different jobs to do. So while my meatballs are cooking, let me remind you again, make sure you use the code. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna finish watching this video. Then you are going to click on the great day to be a girl.com link. You're gonna get to the blog post of this recipe, which again is the ginger pork meatballs. And in that post, you are gonna see at the bottom, the code for 40% off your first month of Blue Apron. So um, you're gonna love it. I'm telling you right now, we thought about maybe stopping it for a while and we did. And then we missed it so much, we started it again. Now it's really great. You can go to the Blue Apron website and what you can do is you could specialize your meals. If you don't like shellfish, you can tell them that. If you don't eat pork, you can tell them that too. They put the recipes together and they're really made um, about a month ahead of time. You can see what you're gonna be receiving in the mail. And then if you don't like something, you can switch it out. If you want to uh, maybe skip a week, maybe you're going on vacation so you're not gonna be home, you could do that too. So that's very nice as well. And um, I don't know, I just love it. You can pick your plan. We get the three day a week plan, two people. So we get three meals. We get them delivered on Fridays, but you could pick Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, I believe. And you can pick more people too. Maybe you have more people in your house. You know, we get the two people uh, set, but I gotta tell you, um, it's a lot. It feeds more than just two people. There's been nights where my husband and I and my daughter too all enjoy this meal. So. It's great, it's economical. It comes out to about $20 a day, which when you think about it, if you go out to dinner, you're gonna spend a lot more than that. So there's that. I'm gonna turn my meatballs right now. Just be careful, because there's gonna be a little bit splattery in there. You don't wanna get hurt. These are looking so good. They're so nice and brown and the ginger is just popping right out of them. But uh, they all turned around very, very nicely. So again, I'm gonna take a spoon and just mix up these uh, radishes that are marinating right now. And again, in here was rice vinegar and uh, pure sesame seed oil. It smells delicious. Sesame seed oil is probably one of my favorites. Radishes, not so much, but uh, the sesame seed oil is good. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add our cabbage to this and then we're going to um, um, uh, we're going to add to the pan the soy marinade. 
Um, and see, this is also, I want to show you this. Everything is step by step, step by step by step. So you know exactly where you are and what you're doing. Of course, there's numbers that coincide. And then of course you have the finished product on the other side. So it's so super simple to, to follow. You're going to love this. All right. These are looking pretty good right now. I'm just going to let them cook a little bit longer uh, because it is pork. Now, if you ever have any questions, it's easy to get in touch with me. All you need to do is uh, put a comment below or you can always reach out to me on um, Facebook, facebook.com slash great day to be a girl. I'm always posting things, things there as well. If you just love having a healthy lifestyle, if you love makeup, if you just love to have fun, um, this is really the website and the Facebook page for you. And if you ever have any suggestions, I would love to hear from you. So just let me know. All right, I'm going to add this now. This is the cabbage. We're going to add this right to the pan with the meatballs. delicious. I really wish you could smell it. And uh, that should be ready in just a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to let the um, uh, cabbage soften and while I'm doing that I'm going to add a little salt and pepper too. So the salt and pepper is in, and then I'm going to marinate around the other side to the pan. Okay, so now we're going to add the soy, the soy marinade to this as well. Okay guys, I'm going to let that finish cooking and I am going to post a picture in just a little bit. So watch the video, go and sign up for your 40% off Blue Apron for an entire first month and then make sure you check back here because I'm going to post a picture of the finished product. Bye guys, have a good day, have a great day.